IZ Corp Radio, 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 IZ Corp Radio. Sauces, sauces, ladies and gentlemen. The newest innovation in health food uh, for restaurants. Right now, we're just doing recipes online. But you got to come check out sauces um, right now. We're doing a special on the recipe for uh, for um, onion soup and all and turn up and turn up soups. So if you're trying to stay healthy and you need help, you come to sauces. We'll get it right for you. Uh, you can go on YouTube and look it up. You can also look us up on Google. Sauces going to be the number one. Uh, health food organization in, in on the planet. Um, good after good morning, everybody. This is Lord Ebo Risi Hodds, and you're listening to IZ Corp Exchange Radio. And this is a Smart Investor Society segment. What we're looking at right now is um, we're talking about uh, Darden, Darden Restaurants. So as you're looking at this company uh, from a from a trading perspective, actually. And for those of you who are who are in the webinar right now, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it was up like thirteen, fourteen dollars yesterday, and this is uh, what June twenty second. But currently, it's only it's down like fifty or sixty cents. And um, you know, on it on our trading desk, we think that's good because we've been seeing some nice, nice, healthy swings on this company. Um, it really surprised me because it wasn't on my radar. And I haven't been owning it or trading it in my portfolio, my personal, um, my personal retirement portfolios for, for people. So I'm looking and I'm saying, wow, over the last couple of years, this thing has really, really, really um, not just outperformed, but it outperformed the whole, pretty much the whole sector. Now, for those of you who don't know, Darden is, is, um, is restaurants. Aren't they like the... Uh, you know, help me out here. This is, this is like an interactive thing. They're like the, the macaroni grills or, or something of the world. You know, they're not like something to write home about. You know, they're just a regular corner store um, standalone d- bar or diner or something. You know, they're like, t- they're, they're like Carlson's. You know, Carlson Company is the TGI Fridays. These are like the, the uh, 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 what, what, what's a good one there? Macaroni grill. Then you have... Um, Oh, I don't know. Look it up. But it's like a chain of restaurants. I think I, I think Chili's is on there. Isn't Chili's on there or something? So what we're looking at is we're looking at how the, the swings are nice. They're like over the last couple of years. I mean, it, I guess it shoots up on earnings, but then it rolls back down. And then when it comes back to the earnings, it hops up again. Now, this could be because of, uh, you know, you know, over overseas. You know, you have like the, uh, you have the, um, oh, what's hot over there now in China? The, the guys that's doing Domino's and, and, and Pizza Hut's and the Kentucky Fried Chickens, the Yum Brands, the Yum Brands are taking off in China. I mean, they just exploded. You, you, we're talking like a thousand stores in less than a year they made in China. They made like, I mean, it's like, it's like unreal, unreal what they're doing. So we're seeing a lot of, uh, a lot of businesses like this are going outside the U.S. and they open up restaurants and they're doing fairly well. I remember when I was working my young days, <laughs> my young days, I was working in uh, TGI Fridays. And what was going on there is they would take the, they would take people from actually they took one of my guys from my store. And um, and they took them to South America and they opened up a Friday's down there and it was like a big, big, big deal. But now we understand like going overseas and going outside the U.S. with these restaurants makes the uh, makes the company stock very, very more valuable because it would make sense. You know, you're dealing with a U.S. based organization that's stationed here. So they have all the amenities of a job of employment 401. So if I go. If I go and I open a four oh if I go and I open up a Darden restaurant in in the Philippines or Morocco or, or any place and I hire another forty or fifty people and then I make thirty-five of them full time or I make half of them full time, 
and then another half of those accept a 401k plan, they're going to be, I'm going to be giving them stock and they're going to be investing and they're going to, they're actually turn, they turn more from employees to investors. So, you know, we have this big thing with this administration to bring business home. Um, you know, sometimes people here in the U.S., they're like real, they're real spoiled. They're like more like pampered. And what they do is they don't, there's jobs there, but they don't take them. You know, when I was coming up, what, 10, 20 years ago, um, there were restaurant jobs like this all over the place. After the crash, there weren't so many because people are like just jumping on them, you know, and the turnover rate is ridiculous. You know, you would go for a job and they would say, we're not hiring that now, come back in two weeks. And then you come back in two weeks and there's an empty slot right there because people don't stay with the job. And because, you know, it's like degrading to, in a, in a lot of places, um, working in these kind of companies is, is degrading. So if you're going overseas and they're, you know, they're just happy to see any factory or warehouse or a restaurant like this, those people are going to work. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to stick with the job. So you have to understand in this sector, when you're looking at um, restaurants and bars and stuff like that, these those people are not, they're not, I don't think the ownership and the leadership of the, of the corporation is looking at these people as employees. They're looking more of them more as investors because these are the type of people that, yeah, the, the, the stock's traded co- publicly, but at the same time, you're, look, you're getting a valued investor that, that's going to get into a 401 and stick with it. So let's, um, let's do some research on, uh, on DRI, which is Darden. And, and um, I want you guys to get back to me on the Smart Investor Society blog. And, and feel free to, um, to chime in on YouTube and Facebook as well. Um, you're watching, you're listening to IZ Corp Radio. And this is a Smart Investor Society segment. And this is Lord Ebo Reese Hards. Thank you. And ha- and don't forget sauces. Sauces. Um, and we're going like this. All the way. Turn up. So if you if you're trying to eat healthy and you're trying you want your kids to eat healthy and you want to lose weight and look better and feel better, find sauces online. Come to Lord Ebo Reese Hard and find sauces. And I'll hook you up with the turn up soup and get you started. Thank you and have a great day. Goodbye.